the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, hi, I'm Wonder Hussy, and welcome to my 2020 Christmas special. And welcome to my home. I'm just doing a little decorating, getting ready for my big holiday party, which, because of COVID, is just gonna be me and the dog. <laughs> That's right, because of the dang coronavirus, this is gonna be the first Christmas in my entire life that I haven't spent with my family. I mean, I was planning to go up and visit my mom for the holiday, but with the pandemic, it just didn't seem like a good idea. After all, the last thing I wanna give my mom for Christmas is COVID. <laughs> You know, I bet many of you are in the same situation, and I want you to know you're not alone. I look forward to seeing all of you every Wednesday, and as long as I have a YouTube channel, well, you're always welcome to come celebrate Christmas with me at my place, whether or not you can be with your own friends and family. Anyway, I'd better get back to trimming my tree. Santa Claus will be here any minute. The trees are trimmed with candy canes and lights But did you ever wonder where they get the trees? They cut them down and take them from the forest Cut them down for you and me But what about poor Bigfoot? He lived in that forest with his Bigfoot family by his side Someone's gonna see them, someone's gonna catch them If they have no place to run and hide So trim a tree, but one that's made of plastic Save the trees for Bigfoot, save the trees for Bigfoot Save some trees for Bigfoot too There! Doesn't the tree look great? You know, I'll be honest, 2020 had me so depressed, I wasn't even gonna bother putting up a tree this year. But thankfully, my house guest, Gloria, insisted on doing it. And didn't she do a great job with the decorations? Merry Christmas, Gloria. Merry Christmas, Sarah. Gloria got so many generous donations from my viewers, she was able to buy an entire case of tablets for the children at her orphanage all in Uganda. The, all the children managed, um, all your donations went on to purchasing these wonderful tablets so the kids in, you, in the orphanage can be able to access online learning, learning, um, piano, learning, classwork, and anything which wasn't possible. So. Thank you so much. All of you that donated every penny was put to great use. So Merry. everyone will have a Merry Christmas. It's going to be a Merry Christmas for these kids. And it's all courtesy of you. Thank you so much. Yay. We love you. And to show her appreciation for all your donations, Gloria has a little video she'd like to share. Wow, wasn't that beautiful? Isn't she a treasure? With people like Gloria in my life, who needs presents? But speaking of presents, I got quite a few from my viewers. And now that it's finally Christmas, I guess I can open them.
sounds like someone's at the door. Why, look, it's my friend Gina, all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Gloria. Hi, friends. Greetings from Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, I want to introduce you to my beautiful pet. His name is Baxter. Is that not the cutest little dog ever? And my skinny anorexic Christmas tree. Perfect for apartment living. And this evening, I'm going to make us a hot cocoa bomb. So I have a, a dear friend. She's so talented. You can find her on Instagram. Whisk Frost Sprinkle, right? So she's been making these hot cocoa bombs. Look at that. So, I actually, I'm not very talented, but I actually figured out I can boil milk or heat it up or whatever, so that's rock time. So, I've already prepared that. So, <laughs> it's fine. Like, there's different flavors. Let's take this one. Okay. So, put it in the cup here. Like so. Alright, let's take this hot milk. Okay, so check it out. This is so flipping cool. Okay, hot milk on the cocoa bomb. There we go. Okay, watch what happens. Oh, come on. And as you know, anyone that knows me, we're gonna spike it with the Smirnoff Peppermint Twist. And then whipped cream. Ta -da. Cheers. Miss you, girl. Love you. Merry Christmas. <sighs> Merry Christmas to you too, Gina. COVID or no, it's nice my friends can at least stop by virtually. As long as we have the internet, well, we can still be together. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, opening all these awesome presents. Can you believe I got a yo-yo? And some new work gloves? And how about this window lube? Wow, my viewers are so generous, but the true meaning of Christmas isn't about getting presents. I'd like to take a moment to send a special Christmas wish to my viewers, Donna and Greg. Donna and Greg are going through some tough times right now, and I want both of you to know that I'm thinking of you and sending you big virtual hugs. That's right, I'm really lucky because even if I can't be with my family, well, at least I have lots of wonderful viewers and good friends around me to keep me company, including my roommate, Chad. Now, unfortunately, Chad couldn't be here to wish everyone a Merry Christmas in person because he's super busy this time of year. You might not know it, but Chad is actually a chimney sweep. That's right, there's plenty of houses here in Las Vegas with chimneys, and Chad has his own chimney cleaning business. And he's super busy this time of year getting all those chimneys clean and ready for Santa. He'll be coming down the chimney down. He'll have a big fat pack up on his back with lots of goodies for you and for me. So leave a peppermint stick for old Saint Nick hanging on the Christmas tree. Uh-oh, another knock at the door. Oh my gosh, it's Larry. Happy holidays, it's Larry from Eminence Front X5. You and Gloria are ripping it up in this yard. You guys make this look so much bigger. This is amazing. Happy holidays. You know, I was just thinking how our friendship and our collaboration on our channels has created a whole new set of friendships behind us. You know, common, common subscribers, common fans of ours uh, who otherwise wouldn't be friends right now. And that, you know, that. They all come from all walks of life and all age groups. It's, it's exciting. Um, that really warms my heart in this holiday season. Happy holidays, Wonder Hussy, and happy holidays to all our fans and subscribers and our supporters. I must run now, but be safe out there. And 
I don't know where I parked the X5. This this is an amazing job you're doing here. Catch you guys later. Ciao. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too, Larry. I'm looking forward to many more adventures in 2021 with you. Now, back to my presents. I guess I better start cleaning up all this mess. Freddy! <laughs> what are you doing? Aw, oh, Freddy, I bet I know what you want for Christmas. <gasps> Belly rubs. Aww. Aww. Yes. You know what, Freddy? I'm going to give you a special treat for Christmas. Here you go, Freddy. Aww. Aww. And one for you too, Noonie, you old sourpuss. <coughs> Ding dong! I don't even have a doorbell. Well, that could only mean it's one person. Scott, is that you? I have a mask. It's on the set. No. Anyway, Merry Christmas, love. Um, I haven't seen you since we were on the search for the A12 crash site. I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. You know how much I adore you. I'm currently uh, filming a music video uh, with a punk rock band. I've been cast as a seaman with the ejaculates. So I have to go, I don't have time, but I would just like to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, love. Wow, I didn't even realize Scott was British all this time. What a character. <laughs> But all joking aside, Scott's been a really good friend of mine for a long time, and he's a good sport. He let me make him out to be a total boozer in that A12 crash site video he was talking about. And so Scott, I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas, and I hope you finally get lucky this year. <laughs> you know, it's true. I have such amazing friends, and I got so many amazing presents, it's hard to think of anything more I could want this year. Although now that I think about it, there is one thing. Just hear the sleigh bells jingling, ring ting jingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a trail ride together with you and you and you and you. Uh. Driving through the snow in a mighty hunk of steel O'er the fields we go, adventuring for real Hear no cell phones ring, the tower's far away What fun it is to drive in peace and just enjoy the day Four by four, four by four, off-road all the way Oh, what fun it is to drive on a sunny winter's day Four by four, four by four, off-road all the way drive with no one in the way. That's right, there's only one thing I can think of that I want for Christmas, and, well, it's something that none of my friends, family, or viewers can give me, and that is to be alone. You know I spent a lot of time this summer just driving around trying to avoid germs and well, I kept saying that I wanted to be alone. So this Christmas, I decided to give myself the gift of solitude and I came out here to my favorite place, the middle of nowhere, with my favorite people, me, myself, and I. Of course, I still miss being with my family, but We'll probably get together sometime in the spring and have some kind of crazy Christmas do-over once this pandemic blows over. But until then, I'll be home for Christmas. If only in my dreams. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Cactus. Merry Christmas, Sagebrush. Merry Christmas, Coyote. Merry Christmas, Rattlesnake. Merry Christmas, Jackrabbit. Merry Christmas, Creosote. Merry Christmas, Tumbleweed. Merry Christmas, Mylar Balloons. Okay, y'all, it's time for my annual Christmas rant. I just went through all the trouble of bringing my Christmas tree out of my house 
plunging it into my jackery out here on the dry lake bed where I thought I could, well, maintain a semblance of being in the middle of nowhere. And wouldn't you know it, this idiot family in a pickup truck rolled up right next to me. You might be able to hear him chattering in the background. I thought it was so rude. Like, we have this vast dry lake bed all around us. You could go anywhere. Do you really have to post up right next to the crazy lady with the Christmas tree plugged in? And if that wasn't bad enough, some jackass on a dirt bike kept blazing around while I was trying to shoot drone footage. I mean, what happened to decency? What happened to common sense? What happened to Christmas? Ugh. Well, I guess I'm just gonna pack up my stuff and go home because Seems like I can find more peace and quiet in my house in the middle of downtown Vegas than I can out here on a dry lake bed. Bah humbug!